So after weeks and weeks of thinking, I finally took the dive. I arrived at the center, wanted to get my iPhone 7 Plus, but they don't have my color, so... The guy told me there is stock here at Mid Valley, and when I came here, the guy said, no stock, bodo. Okay, I'm gonna give it one last try. I'm gonna bounce out now. If you still don't have it, I won't buy it anymore, no more. So I did it. This is where you've got buyer's remorse, you know, you buy and then you go like, <gasps> I just spent so much money on this phone. That's it right there. So the other question is after you've gotten your phone, right? How in the world do you protect this guy? Because it's so slippery, right? It can just fall off at any time. So the first one I tried was to go to a store and uh, find out if I could find something super light, super thin, super durable. And then I found this one called Tech 21. Um, it's pretty good. The box looks very impressive. It's got a slide out thing like that. And then, you know, what reveals is a very nice case that's got a little matte kind of a background as you can see right here. Um, it's got all the bumper on the side. So if you were to fit it into the phone, it looks just like this. What I didn't quite like was the fact that it looked like it had LEDs all around the sides and you know, the grip is great but it just makes the phone super thick. It feels heavier, it feels thicker, um, although it gives you tremendous protection. It's got all the right parts and all that as you can see, you know, the cutting's nice. Um, but then I decided to go out and look for another one. So what I did was I went online, did a lot of research and I came down to one brand. I don't even know how to pronounce it yet, it is called Rinke. It just comes in this really cool package which is uh, supposed to be very eco, they say eco package at the back. As you can see here, the, the cutouts are really really nice. A lot of areas that they have done to make this super, uh, how do I say, protective for your phone. This gives you like little, you know, braces so that when you leave your phone on the desk, it doesn't completely touch the back. You've got this lift up uh, which, you know, kind of again protects your camera so that it doesn't um, doesn't hit the ground or doesn't hit uh, the table in case you put it down flat too quickly. Um, and then all around, it's just very, very well laid out. The, the cutouts are beautiful as you can see. Uh, it's got a little area here for you to put in your handband thing where you can just hold on a little loop-like in case you drop your phone. Very useful if you like taking selfies of yourself and you, you let go and it just falls off, right? So this is very, very useful. But I think it's for girls. Guys don't use this. So I will never fill this phone or fill this hole with something else. That sounds just really wrong. So if you ask me which is my personal favorite at the moment, I think the Rinke Air case for the iPhone 7 Plus is the best uh, because number one, it's not too pricey. It's about 70 ringgit, which is, uh, I don't know, how do you calculate? Probably 20 US dollars or something like that. Um, compared to the iPhone original case, which goes up to 170, 200 plus, that's just insane. You don't need to pay that kind of money and you probably won't get this kind of quality as well. Um, and you don't see this see-through thing because you really want to see into the phone, right? So. I think Rinke has done a pretty good job from the Korean boys or girls. Um, so good on you. My next phone will most likely have a Rinke case. And this is not a sponsored ad, okay? They didn't pay me to say this. I'm just giving you my honest opinion of the, the best phone cases I have tried, at least this time for the iPhone 7 Plus.